hey guys welcome back to clarity chart analysis and in this video i'll be using the market structure to tell us our current position of the mana token on the price market chart and also use the market structure to predict the next possible move of the mana token but first guys if you're new to this channel i want to make money on both directions of the market you want to know our current position on the price market chart this channel is for you Please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. So, guys, on our mana token, on our price chart, the major structure, which has, which is our daily time frame on this channel, the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the upside. And guys, remember that after every break of structure, what should we expect? We should expect a pullback, right? Guys, currently, shall <laughs> sorry, guys. After we saw this break of structure to the upside, we expected a pullback. And guys, are we on a pullback phase? Sure, we're on a pullback phase. And are we done with the pullback phase or price is still pulling back? And guys, remember that if price should take out this swing, this lower swing, that should spread has changed from a bullish trend back to a bearish trend. But if we should see price continue breaking more structure, if we should see price from this point now go back up, that should price is still on a bullish trend and if price should come back and take out this then we we'll confirm that we're still on a bullish trend this was just a pullback phase so guys currently now price is trading between this upper swing and this lower swing so guys let's go back to our forward time frame let's go see if we can source for more information about market structure so guys our forward time frame is this um the most recent break of structure we saw was actually a break of structure to the upside on our daily time frame so let's do this together this swing was actually what gave us this iii so guys from this point we saw price pull back we saw price pull back take out this lower low this lower swing pull back again take out this lower swing pull back again and take out this lower swing so guys currently now our four hours is between this upper swing this upper swing and this lower swing so guys what do you notice or what do you expect after we saw price break structure to the downside so okay guys what do you notice we notice that our break of structure to the downside is just a pullback or this series of lower low on our minor structure it's just a pullback for our major structure which is our daily time frame so guys currently now on our four hour time frame price is trading between this upper swing and this lower swing so guys let's go back to a one hour time frame let's go see if price is ready to continue breaking more structure to the downside or price can now resume the bullish trend because guys the fast remains that the higher time frame is actually superior to the lower time frame but guys for price to break structure or for price to change direction we should be able to see the traces on our lower time frame so guys on our one hour time frame now what do we notice guys we notice that after we saw this break of structure on our far time frame we saw that this swing that actually gave us this lower low of same price traded above it price pull back broke more structure again to the downside so guys currently now on our daily time frame uh, on our sorry sorry guys on our one hour time frame to the most recent break of structure to so was a break of structure to the upside just a pullback to our four hour time frame so guys one hour time frame now is now trading between this upper swing this this upper swing and this lower swing so guys what's the implication if we see price break out take out this lower swing that should spread on our one hour time frame is now bearish on our four hour time frame is bearish and on our daily time frame is bullish that shows we're still on a pullback phase but if you should now see from this point price now take out this lower swing that shows our daily time frame has now changed back to bearish but if we should see price take out this upper swing and from there price came back to take out this four hour upper swing that shows price is now back to a impulsive phase meaning price on our one hour time frame will be bullish on our four hour time frame will be bullish and also on our daily time frame price will be bullish so guys thank you for watching this video and if you're new to this channel please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video thank you guys for watching